This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient uh, with a question about high-risk myeloma. This patient has heard about a term that we have been using more recently called functional high-risk. And so this patient wants to know, well, what is functional high-risk myeloma? Obviously a very good question and something that we are uh, really more focused on in the myeloma community in these last uh, two or three years. Traditionally, high risk has been based upon the uh, detection of abnormal chromosomes in the bone marrow using the FISH fluorescent testing, looking for the high risk chromosomes such as 17P minus, uh, 414, or 1Q plus. Functional high risk is a much more practical approach because it focuses on what is high-risk myeloma? And the answer to that is it's a type of myeloma where the relapse occurs much sooner than we're expecting or that we would like. And so functional high-risk is defined as relapse that occurs within 12 months of having had an autologous stem cell transplant or within 12 months of the original diagnosis or the start of treatment. And so what this means is that we're focused on a reality of relapse that has occurred. And so someone who has had that early relapse is automatically someone uh, who's uh, in this high-risk uh, category. And so it becomes quite practical in terms of designing what would be some new, better therapy for patients who fall into this functional high-risk category. Right now, there is no standard protocol for this group of patients. And using the, the definitions of the 12-month uh, cutoff, new trials are ongoing now to identify which could be good options uh, for uh, better outcomes in the high-risk setting. We are optimistic that some of the new immune therapies, such as CAR T therapies or the bispecific monoclonal antibodies, can do a good or a better job uh, in this setting. But uh, bottom line is, you're probably going to be hearing more about functional high risk and also more about possible therapies that can do a good job and to provide better outcomes for patients in this category.